Hi there guys, it's Chris here with SelfMadeNewbie.com and in this video we're going to go through the best heated vests currently out there today. Now I've kept this list as comprehensive as possible, narrowing it down to my overall top 5 best 5 picks. So no matter what you're looking for, you'll definitely find something here for you. So before we jump in, drop a like and subscribe and hit the bell to be updated with new videos. All right, so as usual, I'm gonna skip all the fluff and just jump right into the recommendations and to confirm what they are, go into the description there and check out that list to ensure you get the absolute lowest price. All right, so kicking it off with my personal favorite and this is the Aurora Men's Lightweight Heated Vest. So the Aurora's Men's Classic Heated Vest aims to stay warm in all the right places thanks to three carbon fiber heating zones located along the back of the collar, in the mid back and on the lower front of the vest. The vest features three temperature settings so users can choose which one best suits the desired warmth, needs and outdoor environment. Its heating zones are powered by a rechargeable 7.4 volt battery which is included that generates heat for up to six hours at the highest temperature on a single charge. The first thing that is gonna strike you with how supple and comfortable this is, um, I'd expect it to be slightly stiff or scratchy with unbending internal wires but you find, you're gonna find that that is not the case at all. Now, while the manufacturer claims that this is water resistant, the operating guide that comes with the vest warns against wearing it in wet conditions when the vest is heating. It contains quality materials and is well made, no snags, the seams are well sewn and the material seems very durable. My favorite feature was the heating panel in the back of the collar. This heating panel along with long winter scarves are gonna keep you toasty warm. The vest will generate heat for just over six hours on high and the soft nylon outer shell is gonna block most of the cutting wind. All in all, a very high quality heated vest that should last you quite a long time. The pros in a nutshell, the vest features a high quality nylon shell that is gonna help block icy winds. The addition of a heated neck panel is a nice touch and the heat panels in the lower front keep the body and hands warm. The cons, the battery pocket location makes the battery slightly uncomfortable against the hip depending on your body shape. The next one on my list is my recommendation for the best value and this is the Aurora Men's Heated Fleece Vest. Get the warming comfort of a heated fleece vest at a great price point here. When the Aurora Heated Vest arrived, I expected the fleece to be similar to a fluffy bathrobe, uh, but that's not the case at all. The fleece part is the lining, the inside of the vest, but the outer shell is made from cotton polyester blend that's thicker and more durable, but still breathable. The vest is designed for comfort, it's soft and supple, and the inside of the pockets have the same fleece lining. The significant upside to the Aurora fleece vest is how well it breathes. There's no problem with sweat building up. The wind will blow up through the fabric a bit though, but not enough to send you really back indoors. The vest is also designed with a high zip up neck to keep uh, cold air out. And a slight downside, the battery compartment is located on the inside of the vest, a bit to the side, which is not the most comfortable place I find. The vest features three heat zones, including two on the chest and one along the upper back. It allows the wearer to choose from three adjustable temperature settings to cater to individual comfort and the outdoor environment. After fully charging the battery overnight, the vest will generate heat for almost five and a half hours and that's on high. So you could wear this vest on moderately cool days without an overcoat. And best of all, it comes at a good price point as well. So in a nutshell, the pros of this, cheaper than comparable breathable vests out there, fleece lined pockets that keep your hands warm, the high zip neck helps block cold air from entering at the neckline, and the cons are the soft fabric is ultra comfortable, but it isn't windproof. And also the position of the battery uh, is gonna rub you on the side as well a little bit. The next one on my list is my recommendation for women, and this is the Venture Heat Woman's Heated Puffer Vest with heat sink. So the tapered waist and wind cutting high neck of the Venture Heat Woman's Vest gives it a stylish look while retaining warmth. It features three large heat zones, one on each side of the chest area and another from shoulder to shoulder along the upper mid back region. I like the front heating elements being in the chest area instead of in the lower abdomen area as is typical with many heated vests. The downside to this configuration is that the pockets aren't heated but you're going to feel warmer overall I think. You'll really appreciate the separate compartment accessible from the inside of the rest 
for the battery as well. And this versatile vest can be worn under a roomy jacket for maximum warmth or over a heavy shirt or sweater. The 7.4 volt rechargeable battery is also included and after a full initial charge, it's gonna keep the vest warm for maybe just under five hours on the highest setting. And best of all, the heating panel in the collar uh, makes the vest feel really cozy and warm. So in a nutshell, the pros, very soft, comfortable fabric with a windproof exterior, heated collar for added warmth and protection, and the roomy front pocket zip uh, for securely holding small items. The cons, the pockets feature nylon lining and don't have any heating elements. The next one on my list is my recommendation. It's another woman's option, and this is the best recycled fabric, and this is the Aurora Woman's Recycled Fleece Vest. So the super soft fleece of the Aurora Heated Recycled Vest for women is gonna keep you warm without trapping in sweat, and best of all, the yarn used in the fleece shell of the vest is 100% recycled plastic bottles. So it's a very eco-friendly, comfortable option. The vest comes with a 7.4 volt battery that is gonna produce toasty warmth for nearly four hours while ran on high. It also offers medium and low heat settings. It comes with four heat panels, two on either side of the lower front, one on the middle of the upper back, and another one on the back of the neck. Although the fleece outer shell is made from recycled plastic bottles, it's not windproof. And called shearling fleece, the fabric is designed to breathe, which makes it this vest suitable uh, for use under a jacket or coat. Aurora also didn't skimp on the style either. This woman's vest is tapered in the midsection and slightly flared at the hip for a flattering, comfortable fit. You're also gonna appreciate the added neck heating element. And the only thing you'd really wanna add here was heating panels in the upper front chest area just for that added warmth. But in a nutshell, the pros, the Sherling fleece is made from recycled plastic bottles, making it an eco-friendly option. The vest features a tapered waist and roomy hip for a stylish, comfortable fit. And the heating element in the collar helps reduce the effect of cold winds on the neck. The cons, the vest does not have heating panels in the upper front chest area. Now the next one on my list is my recommendation for the best hooded option. A lot of people like that hood and this is the Acaso Nomad. So style really meets warmth with this one. While most heated vests are a little on the plain side, the Acaso Woman's Vest is nicely styled with a tapered waist, attractive gray quilting on the front and back and black side panels for a slimming effect. With its ample padding, you're gonna be able to wear this vest over a long sleeve sweater, but it's also slim enough to slip under a jacket. The Acaso heated vest comes with a detachable hood. That's an excellent addition most vests do not include, as we've seen. With a heating panel in the collar, the ability to slip the hood uh, is really gonna lock in warmth around your head. The vest is equipped with four heated zones, two on the lower chest, one along the upper back, and one in the collar. And these heating zones are powered by a rechargeable five volt power bank, which is included, that is gonna produce warmth for about four and a half hours on high. A notable difference with this vest is the ability to turn on either front or back heating or both. The battery connects in a separate pocket behind the left pocket, leaving the main pocket free for your hands. And you're not gonna really notice the battery there. Uh, it's actually in a comfortable spot and both pockets zip close with invisible zippers that also add to the vest slimming appeal. Uh, so this vest is just as suitable for wearing out hiking as for doing just outdoor chores if you're in the cold. And on the downside though, this vest runs considerably smaller than others, so do order one or more sizes larger. But in a nutshell, the pros, the vest is stylish and warm with a tapered waist and quilted front panels. The hood is roomy and detachable. The user can choose heat on just the back or just the front or both. And the heat panel in the back collar is gonna reduce chilling on the neck. The cons are just that small sizing you need to be careful with. All right guys, so hopefully there's something on that list for you, whether you're looking for something for man, woman, something on a budget, something with a hood, hopefully I've included everything. Uh, if you do have any questions though, drop them in the comments below. And if you found value in this video, drop a like and subscribe and I'll see you on the next one. Take care.